<clears throat> Thunderdome Boxing Talk. All right. Uh, shout out to Hand to Hand Combat. He uh, asked me to do this video. Um, I saw a screenshot of the fighters Floyd picked. I didn't see the you know the show. Um, I believe you know the show I watched anywhere where he did it. It was like a Spanish network Spanish show. Um, but I only saw a screenshot. You know when it, the day he did it or whatever. Um, I just didn't feel like talking about it, you know. But then <clears throat> today, uh, Hand to Hand Combat sent me the the video footage and asked me to make a a quick video on it. It is, you know, Mayweather's top five fighters of all time. Um, his top five, Floyd's top five. Um, all right, uh, first of all. Number one, of course, he's, he's going to put himself there, right? Um, they asked him, why? Why are you number one, right? And, again, there was... I just I just made that Ollie uh, Floyd video, right? And I said, um, if you want to make a video about how great he is, you know, talk about all those great fighters he beat and all the odds he overcame, because that's what makes fighters great, right? Um, so they ask him why he's so great. Uh, he says, I beat more champs than anybody. Right? We hear that one a lot. Um, beat more champs than anybody. First of all, you know, you, uh, how many real champs, how many lineal champions did you beat? Um, you know, how how about there's four major sanctioning bodies now. Uh, you know, there's 17 weight classes now. Um, you know, there's a lot of things that go into him being able to have uh, you know, fought and beat so many champions. And, you know, the, the champions are... Um, I'm not, you know... Eh, I mean, if people, if a B-level fighter fights long enough, he's eventually going to get one of these fucking straps. You know, it just happens. Um, it, it always does. You know, not, not always, but I mean, look at Pauly Malignaggi. He's a two-time world champion, for crying out loud. And all he really has is a jab. All right. Um, but Floyd's champions. All right. Gennaro Hernandez, who was retiring, uh, win or lose. You know, he basically just, instead of retiring, he did Aram a favor uh, and stayed on for one more fight, got a payday, and let Aram's new guy be champion. And after he beat Hernandez, he did nothing but fight uh, WBC mandatory types. You know, um, never ventured out and fought uh, any of the toughest guys in the division. Um, never fought another champion, and he had nine or ten fights um, after winning that title. You know, he just he just sat there and fought, you know, nobodies. Um, not nobodies, you know, but no one special, that's for sure. Um, B and C level fighters, you know, that's, that's all it was. Um, then, you know, he moves up to, to lightweight. Uh, fights Castillo, all right, um, even if you feel like I feel, and, you know, you scored that fight for Castillo, um, say Castillo kept his belt, he still beat him the second time, all right, which I think Floyd won the second one, lost the first one, um, but still, that he would have beat Castillo, so that's Castillo, he beat him, all right, um, that's a belt. Then, uh, Gaddy, all right, Gaddy, and by the way, Castillo also, B level fighter, maybe a B plus, but he certainly wasn't an A level fighter. Um, Gaddy, <laughs> way at the end of his career. I mean, he was already, you know, he was already about to retire, like you know, years earlier. Um, he and that's when he ended up hooking up with Buddy McGurk, uh, Buddy McGurk, to learn how to box to extend his career, right? And then he became kind of a a boxer banger, um, and you know he was a boxer, but you could, you could uh, draw him into a brawl, you know, like Mickey Ward did in the first fight. 
Now, he was already about to retire. Decides, hey, let's turn in, let's try and box and get a few more fights out of me. Um, has three wars with Mickey Ward. Um, continues, goes on. Then Floyd fights him. I mean, you know, Gaddy was, you know, nowhere near his prime. And, like, we all love Gaddy, of course. Um, but he was a B level fighter in, in his prime. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, Gaddy, another champion. Um, he beat 11 champions. He beat 11 champions. Um, Zab Judah. Uh, Zab Judah, who shouldn't even have had, uh, shouldn't even have been a champion because Baldo, Baltimore just beat him. Um, you know, he had just lost to Baltimore, but he was able to keep the IBF title. Uh, and that's the one Floyd won and immediately vacated it uh, because he didn't want to fight an IBF mandatory. It was going to be a little tough. Um, so he goes and fights Baldo instead. But I can't hate on him for fighting Baltimore because that was still a Neil champ. So that's the guy you would go after. Um, he goes after Baltimore, beats Baltimore. Um, you know, uh, again, B level fighter, Judah, B level fighter. Um, then Oscar De La Hoya was an A-level fighter. Um, at that point, he, you know, I mean, Freddie Roach already said he, he, he couldn't pull the trigger. Um, he was clearly, you know, he was having his, uh, substance problems, uh, you know, fighting sporadically, you know, just kind of more of a businessman, but like to cash out every now and then. Um... Clearly out of his prime, not himself. Again, you know, shot a shot top top fighter, but basically shot fighter, and still only barely won. I right? still barely won that fight. Um, then Victor Ortiz, Ortiz. Uh, I don't even need to say anything about that. Um, Cotto. Then he fights Cotto. Uh, you know, when Cotto had moved up to 154, he fights him up there. Uh, gets that title. Um, unfortunately, we didn't get to see that fight with a better Kodo, because uh, Kodo gave him a hell of a fight uh, at the worst in the worst part of his career. Um, you know, Kodo wasn't even talking to his coach. You know, that was, that was like the whole camp didn't even he trained himself. You know, honestly, though, that that's why he was not himself. Uh, even the next fight with Trout was even worse. You know, Trout beat him worse than Floyd did. Um, then Canelo, the 152-pound Canelo. Um, then Madonna and uh, Manny Pacquiao. All right, so those are the champions. Um, you know, not, no one in their prime. Or, well, Castillo is in his prime. Um... Madonna was in his prime. Uh, Madonna was a, you know, B-level fighter. Castillo was a B-level fighter. They're in their prime, but they're not top fighters. Manny, um, right on the A-level fighter, but not in his prime. Um, clearly not. Uh, we, we've seen his punches you know, go from 1,000 a fight to 800 a fight to 600 a fight. I mean, clearly he was on the decline. You know, um, now if you want to talk about people, always go, wow, it's, it's, uh, you know, current, former, future world champions. He fought, you know, like 20, 21 of them or whatever. Well, if you want to talk that, uh, Manny Pacquiao himself fought, uh, and beat, um, 20, you know, he stepped in the ring with, uh, you know, current, former, or future, uh, world champion. 20 times, 21 times, if you include Timothy Bradley. Um, now, if you listen to what I say, he stepped into the ring with a uh, current, former, ex, or future champion. All right, that's what they do with Floyd, but uh, now Floyd had rematches too, you know, with Castillo. Um, they count him twice. Uh, so, you know, you got to count, you know, like uh, Marquez. Uh, the, the 
two times he beat him. And things like that. But it's 20 times. 21 if you include Bradley 1. Uh, which, you know, it's a general... Everyone knows he won the fight. Uh, it was the worst robbery of the year, actually. Um, and what's the... I don't know the number, but if someone could tell me um, what they say Floyd fought, I think it is like 20 or 21, right? Um, well, Manny did that too. <laughs> okay? So he tries to say he beat more than anyone. Um, I, I don't know if he did, you know, because I think... Uh, Manny's right there with him. It's he's he, he either tied or whatever. You know, I need the number from whatever Floyd says because I'm not sure how many he says. Uh, but Manny was it did it 20 times, 21 if you count Bradley, uh, number one. Um, he said, uh, "Oh yeah," he said, "Um, I broke, or I hold all, all the pay-per-view." records. All pay-per-view records. You know, I'm the king of pay-per-view. Well, you know, actually, <laughs> no, you share that with Manny. All right. 4.4 million people didn't tune in to watch you backpedal. All right. Um, why do you think, you know, they, they asked who do you think is going to win? I think it was like 80% was picking Manny. What that means really is 80 people 80% of the people liked Manny and wanted him to win. Okay, because a ton of casuals were buying that. Who do you think they were buying it for? Alright, it basically tells you 80% of the people were buying that for Manny. Alright. And either way, um, guess what, Floyd? You, you know, you don't hold, I mean, you hold it with Manny. You know, because we know Floyd uh, can only get them big numbers when he has uh, someone who has a, the, a bigger following than him, you know, uh, Canelo, you know, Manny, uh, De La Hoya, um, Cotto, you know what I'm saying? Floyd's following isn't that big. It's just uh, people want to see him lose, you know. His following, I mean, you know, if, if he had already, say he loses his next fight, um, what do you what do you think his pay per view would be in his next fight? Even if he fought like Sean Porter, what do you think it would be? You know, it'd be like three hundred thousand, honestly. Because they'd be like, ah, we seen a beat. Who cares? Not buying this one. It'd be like three hundred thousand. Um, and that's you know that's that's what it is. Um, so he he doesn't hold all the the record, you know, all the pay-per-view things, you know, oh, and, um, uh, I, I looked this up, you know, if you want to go to total pay-per-view buys, like, who holds, um, the record for most pay-per-view sales in their career, not one fight, career total, all right, um, Floyd has 14 million, 14 million total, uh, pay-per-view sales or buys, you know, Oscar De La Hoya has 12.8. Uh, Holyfield has 12.6. Shit. Tyson has 12.4. Um, interesting note. <clears throat> Tyson and Holyfield 2 did 1.99 million buys in 1997. Um, you got to remember, 1997, there was... 5 billion people on the earth. You know, 2015, there's what, like 8 billion or something? Uh, seven, 8 billion, I think, 7 billion? Uh, 2 billion more people to be able to reach? There was no 24 sevens and all accesses. There wasn't social medias. Um, if you guys had Comcast, you know, you'd see the, like, it was Channel 3 where I live. I don't know what it was with you, but they'd have, like, the local business advertisements all in print, all generic. They'd play that, like, suicide-type music. Um, and they'd sometimes advertise for it. Other than that, you'd only see the advertisements on, like, you know, Showtime or HBO. Um, but they did, basically, 1.99, uh you know, 10. They needed 90,000 more buys and they hit 2 million. So you can basically say to 2 million. Now, 1.99. Um, that's crazy. That's crazy. Um, if that, 
if those guys were here right now, they, they come on, come on. Um, if Tyson, you know, Tyson was in this era and doing what he did, it, he, you know, the numbers would have smashed, smashed. It's because of social media. All access is, you know, social media blasting it out there. Um, it's not so much to, you know, Floyd's just so, such a big attraction. Uh, people have to realize that, you know. Um, Manny. Manny Pacquiao has 17 million total uh, career pay-per-view buys. So, you know, I mean, Manny holds the record for that because he had 18 pay-per-view fights. Um, so, you know, he just, uh, he, uh, first of all, um, what record does he hold? Um, Manny holds the records, honestly. Like, statistically, come on. Um the biggest fight in boxing, uh, guess what? Manny has that record. Floyd has it too, but so does Manny. Uh, the career totals, Manny dogs them out by a few million. Um, I don't know, man. Who Who's the pay-per-view king? You, you know, you would think it's Floyd, right? Because he, he's like the pay-per-view king. But... You know, hey, hey, Manny holds the biggest fight with him, and he has the he's three million ahead of him in uh, career total. I mean, go check it out yourself. Go to Wikipedia and you know, do add the add the numbers up. Get a calculator out. Do you do it in your head? Whatever. Um, this is fact. So, yeah, actually, it's not seventeen million. It's uh, I'm sorry. It's it's I I went up a little. I, it's sixteen point eight two. 16 million, 800,000. So that's 16.82 million. Um, and Floyd is 14 million. And that is including the, the May Pack fight. You know, they each got their 4.4 thrown into their numbers. All right. So who, who's really the pay per view king? He's saying, I hold all the records. Well, um, I don't know, man. You know, Manny got you beaten totals, and he shares the biggest fight with you. So it's not looking like you have all the title, all the you know records and um, pay per views and shit. And that's crazy. He uses that as why he's the number one best boxer of all time. He says, you know, I I broke I broke all the records. <laughs> Are you kidding me? That's what you use to say you you're the best fighter of all time. Um, he also says live gate. I got the biggest live gate. Well, so does Manny. Okay. Um, he also says CompuBox. Ha! <laughs> uh, he says, well, CompuBox, I have the, you know, the, the best average of, um, you know, landing punches and, you know, uh, avoiding punches by... Com I mean, does anyone really buy that shit? You know, first of all, we know CompuBox is extremely flawed. Um, it's been, you know, there's videos out there that show... Um, that prove uh, in multiple different fights how off CompuBox was for Floyd. Like somehow they get, um, they bump Floyd's up and lower his opponents. You know, Hatton is a great one. Um, Cotto uh, is a great one. Um, Pacquiao is a great one. Um, there was others too, but you know, those were some some big ones. You know, and there's videos out there proving it. So I'm not just saying it, it's been proved. I've seen the videos. Um so comp I mean comp your box, dude. Shit don't mean nothing. I right? don't mean nothing. We know it's a flawed system and we know they cheat for you, bro. Um what else did he say? Oh, he said, uh, I've been a champion for eighteen years. All right, well I went and looked at this too. Uh, he was actually, a, first of all, he says he's a champion for 18 years. He won his first title in October of 1988. All right, so that's basically the beginning of 99. What year is it now? You, he couldn't have held, he couldn't have been a champion for 18 years. The 18 years hasn't even passed. All right, 18 years hasn't even passed. You know, um, you take 99, 2000, 
Uh, what, what are you going to get? You know, come on. 18 years hasn't even passed, bro. Um, it, you know, he would have been a champion for 16 years if, <laughs> since the day he won his first title, if he was champion every day until today, it'd be 16 years. Um, why does he lie? He's at, I mean, 18, really, really, 18 years hasn't even passed. You know, we, you still got to wait two more years before 18 years even happens. And I've heard him say 19, 20 years. And people buy it. That many years hasn't even passed. I mean, you see how fucking weird this dude is? And then go back. Um, I did. You know, clearly. I was, I was like, all right, well, this is insane. So let's go see how long he was champion. Um, from the time, you know, he wins them. From the time he vacates them, retires, whatever. He's been a, he's held a title um, for ten years, give or take three months, give or take like three or four months. All right, at most ten and a half years. All right, why is he saying eighteen? It's at most ten and a half years. I mean, just lying, just flat out lying. I mean, I wish. I mean, I, just so you know. He's never been a champion for 18 years because he's never, he couldn't, first of all. Like I said, 18 years hasn't even passed. It's hilarious. Um, it, it, it's 16 years. Uh, and he has held a title for 10 years, give or take, if you want to say 11, whatever. Um, but it's 10, give or take, a little bit. Because um, I couldn't find a couple dates on when he uh, vacated. Or, you know. Um, but. So, like I said, it's 10, give or take a little. Um, <laughs> it's funny. I mean, it's just funny to me. Uh, five weight classes. Okay, yeah, yeah, five. He did that, did that. Um, kind, you know, whatever. Five weight classes. Um, that's good. That's, you know, legit, I guess, you know. He never fought anybody that was the best in any of them. Um, you know, well, Manny, I guess, but no prime greats in any of them, but five weight classes, that's all right, whatever, uh, they, then they, um, he took Ali off of place number one, right, and he brought up the Sphinx thing, they said, why, and he said, well, he lost the Sphinx, who only had seven fights, I'm not getting into that, already did that video, his number two guy, though, right, uh, Duran, Duran, um, Roberto Duran. He said he loves him. You know, he loves him. Uh, first of all, Duran would beat the dog shit out of Floyd Mayweather. Um, and, you know, if, if if Floyd's number one, Manny has a better resume. You know, um, plus, remember, he got the pay-per-view records, too. Um, he has a better resume. Uh, just because someone, you know, gets a win over someone doesn't mean they're better than them. Like, I've done, you know, examples of that many times. Uh, you know, Rocky Marciano has wins over a lot of guys, like Ezra Charles and Archie Moore and Joe Lewis, but does that mean he's higher on the all-time great list? Nope. Um, you know, but just because he got a win over Manny or whatever doesn't mean he's necessarily higher. Um, Manny is higher. He had a better career. He did more impressive things. He challenged himself, fought A-level fighters in their prime, I believe, uh, 10 different times, if I'm correct. Maybe it's nine different times or something like that. Um, so if you want to say, who would Manny fight in? It was A-level in their prime at their best weight. He did it in like nine or 10 times, maybe even 11, honestly. Um, I talked about that in a video before. I'm not getting into that. But Duran, all right? Uh, Duran is a hell of a fighter. I mean, he's probably not the second greatest ever, but he's up there. Um, he's not a top five, though, but he's up there. He's really, he's up there for sure. Um, he was, a, his reasons for him were, you know, he came from uh, 130, he wanted, came from 135 up to 160. He, he actually came from uh, 122, uh, came up, won a title on 135, Went the whole way up, ended up winning a title at 160. Tried for a title at 168. Uh, didn't get it, though. Um, he says, well, another reason he's number two, he said, because he's the first guy to beat Sugar Ray Leonard. I mean, this guy is just not a student of, of, of the game. Um, I, I really think that that's a 
big problem with him on why he says, you know, he's better than, like, Robinson and Ali and that. I, I just think he really just don't know boxing history. I think he's in his own little bubble, and he don't know much. You know, I don't think, you know, he can't read books. I mean, he can't study anything. Um, and for some, like, I don't see him, like, really studying film or, you know, watching a fighter's career. He just don't seem like that guy, like Tyson did. You know, he Floyd is not that type of dude. Um, Tyson's like a fucking encyclopedia. He can tell you the lineage of how fights happened. Not the belts on how fight happens. Like, this guy beat this guy, this guy beat this guy. And he's talking about in the 30s, you know. And he knows that through boxing. He, he, he's wild. Floyd's not like that. And I think that is a big part on why he says some of the things he says that people are like, what? I don't think he knows any better. I, I, it has to be that, man. It has to be he just doesn't know any better. Um, I kind of think he's not trying to be a dick. I just think he don't know any better. Like, it has to be that, man. It has to. Um, <clears throat> number three, Pernell Whitaker. Um, <laughs> like, I love Pernell Whitaker. I mean, like, he's one of my fav personal favorite fighters of all time. Um, he always was just from his style because uh, I used to try and emulate Spadafora in the gym. And Spadafora would always try and emulate uh, Pernell Whitaker. That was his favorite fighter. And that's why when Pernell Whitaker started training him, that was, like, great. And they used to train at my gym. So, like, I, I got to get time in with uh, Whitaker a couple of times. Um, and it, it was amazing. The guy is so nice, by the way. And he's a fucking boxing genius on... Um, you know, the craft. Uh, but his reason, he didn't say any of, like, the amazing things, like, he could do or anything. He just said, because he didn't lose till the end of his career. Well, that applies for most fighters. <laughs> for a lot of fighters. Well, he didn't lose till the end of his career. Um, I mean, what, you know, uh, Aaron Pryor. I mean, you know, you could say that about a lot of guys. Um, you know, that, that happened. Joe Lewis. I mean, come on, man. It happened to a lot of guys. Well, no, actually, I'm sorry. Joe Lewis lost his smelling early. Um, but that did happen to a lot of guys. So it was like, you know, what are you, what are you talking about? Um, he did bring up the Chavez thing that he felt he beat Chavez. Um, and that brings me to Chavez, who he put at number four. All right, so you got Floyd, Duran, Whitaker, and then Chavez. I know you're already like, what, if you didn't see it. Uh, he said, because Chavez went 80-0 and before his first loss. All right. So, you know, Floyd's little 48-0 um, isn't that much, especially when Ricardo Mayorga, or, I'm sorry, uh, oh, my God, Ricardo Lopez, um, El Finito, uh, retired at 51-0, and and won. Uh, that he immediately avenged that draw. That shouldn't even have been a draw. Uh, but he immediately avenged it. Um, but he retired. No losses. Um, you know, 51. Uh, you know, and, and that 49 and 0, that's a heavyweight record anyway. Um, that's the big thing about it. It's for heavyweights. But other fighters always try to do it too. You know, um, but it just never means as much. In, uh, it means more for the heavyweights because it's so much harder because every heavyweight can take you out with one punch. Um, that's why people used to like the heavyweights so much. We just, you know, need to get some really good athletic ones back in the game. Um, and number five was Muhammad Ali. I think he likes to disrespect Muhammad Ali, uh, and Sugar Ray Robinson, for whatever reasons. I, I think he, like, just has something against them. Because uh, we've heard him slander them so many times. Uh, so many times. Has anyone ever heard him talk about Homicide Hank? Because I, I never have. Uh, maybe it's like, does he even know who the guy is? Um, but he slanders Ali and Robinson all the time. But he puts Ali at number five. Uh, he said, Muhammad Ali was great because he stood for a cause. 
Not because, you know, he, he beat monsters who he was never supposed to beat and knocked them out, actually. Um, you know, Liston, Foreman, uh, not to mention all the other guys. I'm not running through that. I just did that video. Um, the Mayweather Ali video. I just did it. Not doing it again. Um, he said... Uh, he was better. They said, why is he five? Why do you think you're better? And every time he made a pick, even when he put himself and the rest of them, they kept going, no, no, <laughs> no. Uh, the, the hosts, the crowd, I mean, they clapped at the end, but that's because they were told to. Um, everyone there was like, what the fuck? You know, uh, they weren't like, oh, cool, you think him? They were just like, no! Like, the, the Spanish dudes were real, man. They were real. Um, he said because Ali fought in one weight class. I, I He said that before, but, like, I, I don't understand that. Like, can he help how big he was? And does he understand that fighting in heavyweight means, um, you know, th there is no weight limit? That you can fight, basically, you know, he's fighting in divisions where every five pounds makes a difference. Well, this dude's fighting guys, you know, um, when he turned pro, uh, Ali, you know, he was what, like 198 or something like that? Um, then he filled out a little bit, but he was really skinny when he first turned pro. Um, he, he was fighting guys, you know, had 30 pounds on him. Um, Floyd's never done that. That's... that's way better than fighting in a, a few more than one division. The guy's fighting in what one fight, uh, uh, a separation in weight, could be four divisions, five divisions. You know, I, I didn't under I don't understand. Like he does he not understand that? The guy is in there, you know, with you know, someone who got thirty pounds on him. And twenty five pounds on him. <clears throat> That's five weight classes, man. That's five weight classes. So I, I don't know. I, I, I don't get it. It's the heavyweights, man. Like, can he help? Uh, can Ali help the, the the his weight and body frame? How big he was? He had to. He was a heavyweight. Uh, like that was silly. That was silly. Uh, and he said, you know, oh, and plus he lost the Spanx, um, uh, Norton. You know, not to me, he didn't say, you know, he fought uh, damn near the whole fight with a broken jaw, uh, getting hit on it and not quitting, you know, fighting through it. Um, the, you know, Sphinx was immediately avenged. Uh, I believe, you know, someone uh, mentioned it to me, and I believe he's correct, that it was fight of the year and the 15th round it was round of the year, and uh, Ollie Sphinx won. Like I said before, that was such a close fight. They were going at it. Um, but, hey, you know, whatever. That's uh, his opinion. You know, he didn't He didn't even put Sugar Ray Robinson anywhere. Sugar Ray Robinson was over there, but he never used them. Just left them, you know. <laughs> I mean, he just loves to shit on these guys. It's like he doesn't even want to uh, talk about Homicide Hank or Sugar Ray Robinson. He don't. He doesn't want to... It seems like he, he either doesn't know or he knows and doesn't want to let his uh, fans who, you know, don't know shit, um, doesn't want to let them know about these guys. Doesn't want to say these guys' names and put them somewhere and then they might go do some research on them and find out that they're way better than Floyd, you know, um, like, he didn't mention, like, Archie Moore, uh, Bo Jack, Willie Pep, you know, Benny Leonard, um, Ezra Charles, Homicide Hank, uh, you know, come on, man, uh, Sam Langford, um, Joe Lewis, Sugar Ray Robinson, obviously, Jack Johnson, Hagler, uh, Pacquiao, uh, Mickey Walker, uh, Monzon, I mean, and I only mentioned Pacquiao because Mayweather put himself up there. Uh, so, you know, I couldn't believe it. You know, he's using, uh, like, hey, if he wants to say these are my favorite guys, I, I, I could have understood that, right? Um, but it was the top five greatest of all time. And he left all the greatest fighters, you know, the top five greatest fighters of all time, off the list, except Ali, 
and he puts him at five. At five. And he said, it, he basically, what he was insinuating was that Ali was only good because, you know, the civil rights shit, and he stood for causes, you know, great causes. And he said, because he was, he said he was great. His exact words were, Ali was great because he stood for a cause. And he did it, and he insinuated that that's the only reason people think uh, Ali is good. And that's like him trying to tell his fans, like, dude, like, you know, people only like him because he stood for a cause, you know, blah, blah, blah. I mean, this is a despicable, despicable, man. I really didn't like it. I really didn't like it at all. Um, the reasons why he said that he was the best ever were the funniest shit in the world. Funniest shit in the world, you know, like I said, man. Um, beat more champs. Well, you know, actually, you're, like, tied with Manny on that. Um, no, Floyd beat more guys at the time who were champions, but he says, you know, I beat 20-some champs. So he's talking about before, current, uh, future champs. Manny's, like, tied with him on that. Um, Pay-per-view records, which none of this shit matters, um, but he, like, he thinks it does. Um, Pay-per-view records. Manny has the records, actually. Um, he's You and him share one, and he got you trumped on the other one. Uh, Compu box? Are you crazy? Oh, he said he took the least amount of punishment, too. Well, George Tavallo talks pretty damn well. You know, pretty damn well. Um, who? How can we judge who took the least amount of punishment? You know, that's ridiculous. Uh, Willie Pep didn't take much punishment. Um... I don't know. It, it's just wild to me. You know, a 18 year championship. Cold, flat out lie. Um, flat out lie. You know, like I said, 18 years hasn't even passed. Um, it's been 10. He's champ for. He's a. Ten, he's been champ 10 years, man. He has held a title for a total of 10 years, and it's all broken up. You know what I mean? Um, Compu box. Uh, Least punishment, um, live game. Oh man, he got you with that one too. It's his too. Um, Compu box. I mean, I, you know, the, it, it, it. He half of it's lies, um, and the rest of it is fucking meaningless. Why are you the champ? It should be because I beat this guy when I wasn't supposed to. You know, I beat these two guys. Uh, you know, we had a trilogy. I, you know, I beat them all three times, even though two of them were close. You know, I ended up knocking them out. You know, I got, um, you know, you know what it is. Um, I, I fought all of these great guys in their prime and beat them. Um, you know, he can't do that though. He can't say that. Not one time did he say I beat and I beat this guy. I beat this guy not once. He said champions. But it was never like, you know, if Ali was up here, he'd have been like, I beat Foreman. You know, I beat Liston. Um, no. <laughs> uh, not at all. Not at all. He didn't even, I don't even think he mentioned being undefeated, though, actually, which was pretty, um, pretty crazy. You know, you would think that he uh, would have, you know. Um, let me know what you think about his list and why does does he do this? You know, why does he insist on, you know, acting like these great fighters didn't exist? Um, he put all fighters up there. You know, if you look at it, like the people he put up there, and they're all people that, you know, his, his fans basically talk about all the time. You know, Duran is always brought up, right? And he somehow knows this, right? In, in any of the forums, or uh, Facebook groups when people are talking about Floyd and matching them up. A lot of times they'll talk about, hey, Duran would have beat him. Uh, you know, Pernell Whitaker is always in comparisons. Uh, Chavez, they talk about him because of the, you know, the 80 and 0. Um, and Ali, comparison, he made that comparison. But, you know, it, it, it's like he used the fighters that are often compared with him, but then the guys who are always... People are always saying, dude, they're way better than him. He didn't even acknowledge them. Like, why Why does he do this, man? You know, let, let me know what your thoughts are. Thunderdome Boxing Talk. Peace.